Look at the water. Yeah. Look at it bouncing. How come it's bouncing? We've got a small, we've got a baby quick going on. Hmm. Isn't that something? It is really yeah. bouncing. That water. Okay. Now, this is old cow. And this is not a spring chicken today. We are going to talk about. I, I would say this is one of my favorites. No, it really is her. Uh, 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 okay, because I can tell you that sometimes. But we, 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 we shopped herself out of being able to get a deal last night because she wanted her coupon code. <laughs> and then to get her And we lost the internet. To be, get her coupon code, she turned on her smart device, which then shut off the, the deal we were making. So, oh. no, but it's just, she, she basically, uh, most people don't know how, that she, she practices voodoo buying. This is not voodoo buying. This is this is, knowledge is gained from many years of shopping. This knowledge. <laughs> okay, what happens is they send a they send a, a chauffeur limousine around to her on on these special days. I'm not invited to these events. Mm -hmm. She is. It's not you know so. <laughs> but but they but once a year in our family we kind of think of it as a sport. Okay, for many people. Um, Black Friday starts the beginning of the shopping season. There are many people that do shop throughout the rest of the year, but there are some people that wait specifically for Black Friday. I know, but my family, we would go in buying after Christmas to get a lot of this stuff because the prices were as low as then, and then we would wait till we, okay, we would always wait till December when we knew the prices were going to tank. So, with this, which Black, what happened is, um, Black Fridays and Cyber Monday have changed the landscape a lot because uh, you never know what they're going to have. I mean, we've, we've picked up some gut off of good buys. Um, actually, uh, we're, we're, you know, we're going to, I see her list, but the problem is I'm going to try, I'm going to super, I'm going to supersede it. I'm going to supersede it because before, this is, you should basically do a scouting expedition before Black well, I Friday. Have it. You said go early, but you're talking earlier in the day. No, no, no. This is Scout. I'll put Scout. That's right. So, because we know what's going to be in the stores from what's on the floor. Yeah. Um, and actually, we're calling this Black Friday Shopping Tips. It starts actually before Black Friday. Yeah. That's the number one. Start before Black Friday. Yeah. Uh, because, uh, for instance, this is a good place to, 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 uh, to actually have an internet connection, which we actually because they'll, they're already putting out Black Friday deals on the internet. They already are. Telling you what, who's going, who's going to have what, and it's sort of, uh, I know she's trying to connect up, but it's not going to work. Yeah, we're, it's, it's just not working It's right not now. working because I've got, you know, so, but, um, we okay. got, because so, we got this, that's basically screwing it, so. So when you start before Black Friday, when we talk about scouting it, we actually, we literally, for example, you know what stores you like to go into. Mm -hmm. They do not magically do that overnight and get all the stores ready. They're doing it days before. Mm -hmm. And if you go in a, at least a couple of days, you go to a couple of days before and a day before to sell, you walk around and you notice what was there, what wasn't there before that is there now. And you know what's going to be on sale because they always will pile stuff in the middle of floors. I mean, you know, yeah. like a pristine floor and all of a sudden it works the same as all the stores. Walmart yeah. does it, uh, Panties does it, Macy's does it. You'll see the sales items being put out there, maybe with no price on them. There's an abundance of them. Yeah, if there's an god awful lot, you know that item is going to be on sale. And, and you also know where it's located within the store. It's easier to get to it because one of the problems you have if you don't do a scouting expedition is you don't know where the stuff is in the store because um, uh, we basically, we'll, we'll give an example, we, we, like, we do shop a lot at Best Buy because of electronic stuff. Last year we went in before and we knew what people were going to have because we scouted for a couple of days beforehand. Well, they, you can look up on the shelves and you see yeah. how much they But have. what happened was they, they, the best buys where we go have a deal with an uh, educational camp or something. Mm -hmm. And all of these kids from this camp are in there and we're talking busloads of people as we're trying to go to where the deals are. Those are things that you can't figure on when you're doing your scouting. Um, but if you've done it once, figure it might happen. If there are buses of people in a parking lot, you're screwed. Yeah. Go to another store. 
doing you know we, yeah because if you if you go to the same store in the same a same chain store it's likely to have the same sales there's a manager they give you a manager a discount at some stores over others but if you go to a Best Buy and you've got um, forty nine dollar Blu ray players by the thousands and, uh, and, and a twenty seven inch high def ten eighty p for one hundred eighty nine dollars they're going to be across the stores mm -hmm. so you can go. You know, so you want to go into the store that you can actually get into the store. Yeah, and I put these these tips together for Black Friday. Uh, well, actually, we'll, we'll back up to this, but um, knowing that I do not on his parking lots waiting for the stores to open. Mm. We don't get up early in the morning to go do it either. <laughs> okay, there are some people that do that. I do not do that. I don't believe in doing it. Right. I'm not going to stand out in the cold for hours beforehand. No, but we have went the night before. To see how many, you know, maybe we, could, we go over and get hamburger and french fries or something. Well, if the store's open. We go by and see how many people are, God, you know, like they're, well, uh, they're basically, they're, they're selling some sort of stupid thing like at, uh, at six o'clock in the morning and you see a line that is two blocks long. And, yeah, I'm not a, I'm not that ambitious. Um, no. There are people that I've seen, I know where my family lives, there's a family that goes there every year. They spend their Thanksgiving at the Best Buy parking lot oh, yeah. in a motorhome. <laughs> no, I mean, they're like the first in line. They always get several computers every year and they're on the move. It would be like, uh, you know, our, our best, you know, my comprehension of things, when I was little, we did, we still had great big, you know, we had stores, super department stores, unlike what they, you know, like we had Macy's and Gamble's and all places mm -hmm. like that. My mother would get the, the girls out, you know, she'd get their little yammies on. And we'd go out, at, you know, because then they were giving away uh, cocoa and, and mm -hmm. hot stuff and you know, hot things. And she'd, we'd go over there and they would wait in the car and guess who gets to stood in, stand in the line, uh -huh. folks? You know, the eight-year-old older brother would stand in line and my mother would come back by. My father would never go. My mother would come by. How's it? You know, how things are doing? They said, uh, it won't be open until the sun comes up, Mom. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, you know, I'll be back here with the girls when, and your brother when the sun comes up. And then two hours later, and, and they said, how are things going? And they said, well, the girls don't want to come. They're still asleep. Yeah. Yeah. And they said, the girls are going to come because they've stood here for four hours. And the mother said, well, I'll send your brother back and he can watch the girls. <laughs> and I, <laughs> well, they, okay, when they're like this. They're not going to come, folks. Uh -huh. yeah. So we would do that. We did that for a few years until my mother, because my mother worked, my mother worked, we're so much work, we hours, but we really got tired of getting up like at about three in the morning to go to sleep. Well, you just don't go to sleep. I know, that's not fun. Well, but then I, I, there's no one in the line but the stupid older son. You know, you think my mother was standing in the line for hours? No. And I, I, like I said, I'm not going to get up. And the girls don't want to get up. I don't want to get up. And you don't want to stand in the line. They said, yeah, but we'll miss out on the deals. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, yeah, let's see. The girls get to get some little booties. And, and the boys get to get some T-shirts. That was our deals. Yeah. You know, back in the olden days when my mother thought it was hot. Well, because we got free soft. We got free warm cocoa and free donuts to go in early. And they walk around, oh, would you have like one? I mean, uh, I mean, you know, like the donuts would be about like that, and the cocoa would be a little tiny shot glass. <laughs> but that was what we did. That was our day. Her day is different than my day. Okay. Next is bring your list. Um, this is one of the most important things that you can do because you want to know what you're shopping for and who you're shopping for. Which is another reason also to focus scope scout out the store to begin with because you know where that stuff is sitting in the store. Mm -hmm. This means no sizes. Yeah. You know, do they fit a medium, a small, medium, or large? Yeah. If you're thinking of buying them shoes, know their shoe size or their glove size or whatever have you. Yeah. Okay. You know, and if you're from my family and my father's in charge, don't get the kids clothes. It's, it's the Christmas. Don't get the kids clothes. They don't want clothes. Get them toys. Well, also, if, if you're buying them a game, know if they have uh, what an Xbox or a PlayStation or a Wii, right? Which we basically, you know, her relatives have got so many those. Okay, which one of these games don't they have? Yeah. So you try to figure out 
You also, here's another thing, you have to know the temperament of the parents of the kids. What is allowable oh, in that yeah, household? What's appropriate? Are they going to get too mad at me when I buy them the screeching monkey? Which I think is really funny. Which we will, <laughs> we, the screeching monkey will be purchased because you know, it's really it, funny. basically like to fire it through the air and it makes it no <laughs> Which I'm going to get anyway, no matter how upset they're going to be. I mean, she, got, she got her nephew a, set, a drum pad. <laughs> the kids. But it was a silent drum pad, yeah, so he can play all he wants. Yeah, what the silent drum pad is left to him. Kids got to be a drummer, folks. You know how you tell a drummer he loves to make noise. <laughs> Next is um, plan your shopping. When I say plan your shopping, first of all, you've got your list. You know where you want to go. You have an idea which stores you want to go to. Yeah. Number one, where they're located. Because sometimes um, if you go to an area which has all the stores, other people are doing the same thing. So you might find longer okay. lines. And here's the trick. Start from the far point and come towards you. Don't start from the close point and go backwards because mm -hmm. the as you come as you go that way, uh, it's taking you you know longer to get that way. By the time you get that way, there's going to be nothing left. So you want to you want to start this way and move this direction because it's always easier to come back to where you're at than to go to where you're going because the traffic is always going to be less coming towards you than mm -hmm. going away from you and the traffic. God, try to. Okay. Well, because tra par uh, parking is part no, of this. Parking, God, we got okay. Uh, we we'll tell you, well, we don't know what the heck happened last week. Oh, wasn't yeah. just a couple of days ago when we went what? shopping for clothes, which we weren't planning to do. Oh, but, I know uh, that we we. we I mean, in the parking lot. We we'll put it this way: there were so many people at the shopping center. I got out and walked up to the higher parking lot to see if, and I came back before she turned the corner. She hadn't got what was it, five or six, like a half a mile there and back. And then we found, because she slowed down to pick me up, there's a parking spot right next to us. So, I know, we lucked out for that but one. That's the trick is that um, plan to park away from the building. That's another one. Because yeah, this is not the time where you try and get the close-up spot. No, uh, uh, and, and, you know, because it just is not, you're not going to get a close-up spot. If it happens, it's a miracle. But the further back you park, oh, the further back you park, the easier it is to get in. The easier it is to get out because you actually got to get out of that parking spot too. Yeah. And if it takes you half an hour to get out, you've already lost a lot of your shopping day. Yeah. And next is a lot of this has to do with knowledge. Yeah. Is know the cells, okay? When you go out and scout beforehand, you're going to get a good idea of what's going on on the cells. They're doing, like you mentioned, the Black Friday ads. Yeah. We're already getting them. Um, well, because I'm on all those lists. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and so you're getting the list from what they expect Best Buy to have, Target to have, yeah. um, you know, and, all of the different and, retailers. And know where they'll actually match sales ads. Actually, on Black Friday, none of them are matching ah, sales. But the problem is, is that if, that it's a, if it is a company device and is a company suggested sales price, and what happened was we ran into that at Best Buy when the guy said, you people told me that this was the best price in town. I went to Sears and it was two hundred dollars cheaper, mm -hmm. and they they basically fixed the problem because if the salesman tells you mm -hmm. that it is the best price in the city and somebody else has got it cheaper, then basically the salesman is taking foot and put it in the mouth. Mm -hmm. Know the salesman's name that sells you the product. Yeah, um, typically, well, first of all, there's those Black Friday ads. Um, those, I think, a lot of them are not. Actually, they put they, fake things in. Yeah, um, it gives you an idea, but know that they are very much subject to change. Yeah, uh, and, and like I said, once again, there. Uh, well, we we found this out was it a couple of years ago that when they say uh, we you know one item available, it does not necessarily mean one item per person. It means one item in a store to keep it legal. Check, which is where we go scope. If there's not a lot of them. You're not likely going to get whatever they got. Yeah. Oh, also, when you were talking about matching prices, yeah. um, the exception is they will not match. Uh, typically, um, they do not match Black Friday sell ads. Yeah. But just because it's on sale for Black Friday does not mean it's a good price. That's right. Sometimes the prices are up. And remember, it is a sales ad. It doesn't mean, okay, say, uh, we're going to try it again. Say you have a 30 cubic foot LG refrigerator on sale. 
but it is not a listed cell. And you go to, you know, the Joe Blow store, that, that, that thing is not a list, it wasn't advertised, and it was in a store. The Joe Blow store has got it for $1,500 less. So what you do is you return it and go to Joe Blow store. Or have a match it. Yeah, or have a match it. It's got to do... The, the, the tricky the, part about Black Friday is anything extra you ask them to do that takes time, yeah, they don't takes like time to, and they don't like to do it. They don't it. like to do it. So, um, so uh, and then the Black Friday, and then um, got off a lot of returns the next day, so... Yeah. Um, next is know when the sale starts. Yeah. Because... Um, you, you're familiar with Black Friday. Well, see, part of it is, is if you, some stores are open on Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. And actually, the stores that are open on Thanksgiving Day are not very busy. No, and you can go in. It's another time to go in and see what's going to be available. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know that, um, for instance, they'll, uh, what happens is they'll close the doors for a few hours for the Black Friday thing, but you have an opportunity. If you're not doing, if you're not watching, if it's parade drill when you're watching football games, you can go over and the well, store is open. Think about it. There's some more stores that are open 24 hours. Yeah. And I'm like, how in the world do they do that? Because they're they close for Black Friday? No, no they, 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 they don't. They, but they set up a Black Friday line, mm -hmm. and those people are waiting in line to get the sales thing, which are almost always TV sets, games. TV things. sets always go really fast. Yeah. Any, anything expensive usually goes and really fast. And computers, high. cell phones, anything like that, they're going to, okay, uh, actually, um, anything you get as far as uh, electronic devices, make certain it's not underpowered. Yeah. Because they will sell you an underpowered device at a good price, and it basically doesn't do what... Uh, what it, it's just kind of a waste on time. Yeah, but people, a parent will not understand you know, when they buy a computer, what, there's two gigabytes. That's a really big thing. Well, since most of the stuff takes four gigabytes mm -hmm. to run, you got to have four RAM, four gigabytes of RAM to make most of the stuff function. Well, they, I got this for $150. Well, it's not good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, also, when we say know when the sale starts, if you're shopping online, say you're in California, and it, the sale starts on Black Friday. Well, remember, there's the East Coast. So if it's an East Coast company, the sale might actually start at 12.01. Which we found that out. Which is 9.01 p.m. Thanksgiving Day in California. Because we almost missed one of the sales because it was like it was, it was, uh, what was it, 12, it was their time until mm -hmm. like about 12 hours later, mm -hmm. their time which was 9 o'clock in the morning, our time, mm -hmm. and uh, and basically you figure, oh, boy, we, 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 we cut that one right at the end, you know, like your, uh, and um, uh, well, here's the funny part, too, about the sales time, is that here's a cute thing that we did find out. If a sell is going really well and you're in a store, sometimes they let the sell continue. Yeah, we've had that happen.